Hey, fifth graders, we're back, and we're going to talk about dividing by multiples of 10. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? All right, so I have a problem, 30, or 596 divided by 30. And we remember when we divide, we divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, right? Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, but that's two digits. That makes this a lot harder. I can't count by 30s. Okay, what we need to do when we have um, 30, 40, 50, 60, 10, 20 out here is pretend that zero isn't there for a second. Okay, we know 30 can't go into 5, but we know it can go into 59. So if I pretend that zero isn't there for a second, I'm dropping one digit, dropping one digit on this one. How many threes go into 5? You got it, 1. So I'm going to put this here. 1 times 30 is 30, and I subtract. So I put my digits back on. 9 minus 0, 5 minus 3, bring my 6 down. Okay, now again, I am going to drop a digit. Okay, I drop my 6, I drop my 3, or I drop my 0. How many times will 3 go into 29? You got it. It's going to go about 9 times. Okay? So, I don't know what 9 times 30 is. You can do this. What's 9 times 3? You got it. 27 and add that 0 back on. And we're ready to subtract. 6, 2... It's smaller than 30, so we've, we're okay. We don't have any more numbers to bring down, so this is our remainder. 19 remainder 26. All right, let's try a couple more. Okay, 765 divided by 20. All right, maybe this is a little easier for you because maybe you're good at counting by 20s. Okay, but if you're not, that's okay. Remember, we're looking at the first two, but we're going to drop the second digit on each one. So how many twos, because we're dropping that zero for a second, how many twos go into seven? You're right, three do. So I put my three above my six. 20 times three, well what's three times two? You got it, six, put the zero back on, and subtract, okay, bring down, and again, we're considering without that second digit. How many twos go into 16? You got it, 8. Okay, 2 times 8, 16, put the 0 back on. We're ready to subtract. Okay, 38, remainder 5. All right, one more, guys, and I, then I bet you got this. Okay, we're looking at 97. We dropped the 7. We drop the zero. How many fours are in nine? You got it, two. Two times four is eight. Put the zero back on. Subtract, bring down. Again, we drop a number. How many fours are in 17? Yep, four. Four times four is? 16, put your zero back on, and subtract. Okay? All right, so remember, when you have a multiple of by tens and get to it, pretend that zero is not there, and pretend one of your digits isn't there that you're dividing to, and that gives you an idea of about how many times it's going to go in there. Okay? Fifth graders, I know you've got this. We'll see you tomorrow.